All right, I think we're recording. Um, yep, four seconds in. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these, uh, but I felt compelled after watching the Cyberpunk Edge Runners anime on Netflix. Um, at first, I didn't like it. It kind of started off a bit slow, just like I suppose any kind of anime or TV show that you watch. But when it got going, it really got going and it surprised me. And as a fan of the video game first, um, I was one of the very first people that were kind of defending it, I think. A lot of people hated on it, but I actually loved the video game quite a bit. And um, when I saw the anime come out, I'm like, well, this, this could be interesting. But um, it looks very different from the video game, so I wasn't sure how to feel about it. Um, but after watching it, uh, like 15 minutes ago, I'm surprised how close it stuck to the main uh, its source. Uh, this is the game right here. And that's the tone of the game, it's like super realistic. Um, and the anime is actually, you know, very anime, obviously. But um, yeah, I was surprised how, how close it stuck to it. Like, Afterlife, um, the bar in the, in the anime is in the game. Um, the strip club is in the game. Everything is in the game. Even like, the map and the overhead view of the city and stuff like that is all in the game. It's pretty incredible. And I was actually surprised how, um, how, how emotional the the anime was by the end of it i just felt really sad and um it was it was so good like it was so good especially the way it ended um it was it, it was nuts like i don't know what it is with um netflix shows but it's it always has to have that um shock factor right and this doesn't disappoint there's a lot of um there's a lot of um parts in the in in the in the show in the series that was that's like whoa that's crazy what just happened um it's too bad that you're not really familiar with the characters right at the beginning so um uh, i shouldn't say anything i don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it i almost spoiled it but um yeah the reason why i'm making this video is because i want to do um some fan art of my favorite character in the in the anime so let's just minimize this down here um, whoa, what happened there? Okay. Um, let's put it up here, actually. Yeah, I want to do some fan art of, um, of the main character. I can't remember his name already. It's a, just a normal name. Probably like Bob or something like that. No, it's not. It's like, it starts with an H, I believe. Um, is it H? Hold on. I could easily look this up. But I can't, because my internet's down. And that's why I'm doing this, because I can't work. So, I thought I would just pop on to do, um... A quick YouTube um, but anyway I'm going to do some fan art of the main guy which I didn't like at first but then he really grew on me and I think he's the strongest character in the anime I feel really sad for him um, by the end of it okay I'm just gonna speed this part up it's gonna be a speed paint from here on from here on out all right, I'm actually gonna use this opportunity to kind of talk over the um, the live draw or the, um, the speed paint. <laughs> I can't speak. I just woke up. Literally, it's 8:30 in the morning. But um, yeah, I usually begin a drawing the exact same way. I'll draw the wireframe or anatomy underneath first, and I do this um, with everything. Uh, and I think this is the proper way to do it. I think you should all do it. It helps out a lot in the end. It takes a bit more time but it it you get a better product at the end i find and you actually end up finishing the the drawing as opposed to like just drawing the upper body and then not knowing what to do with the legs it's something that i used to do um, when i was much younger was just start drawing eyes and nose right away without fleshing out the anatomy first and what would happen is i would end up with a bunch of drawings that are completely incomplete um that's a big no-no you want to be able to finish uh, not only does that, you know, not only do you get a finished product, but that also builds um, discipline and character when, when you become a professional. Um, because when you're doing professional work, you have to finish. You can't be stuck in a situation where you only know how to draw the upper body and you can't draw legs or feet or arms or hands or anything like that. You have to be able to know how to draw everything. Um, Anyway, yeah, I'm doing this kind of flying th pose. I actually like this pose a lot, and by the end of it, it got more boring because I started picking away at it. And I just started... I never... I don't like this drawing. I don't like the way it turned out. 
I was able to kind of make it work, but I was really rushing through this um, because, like I said, I had other things to do with my job and stuff like that. So I was I was hoping to pop in and do like a quick YouTube, no more than a half an hour. But this actually ended up taking two and a half hours, which is super fast for an illustration. Don't if you're doing stuff for clients or professional work, don't ever like blast through an illustration like that. Spend at least 20, 30 hours on it. Just scrutinizing every line and color and stuff like that, making sure it's perfect. That's my son in the background screaming. But um yeah, don't ever rush through anything. Take your time. Um I'm doing this for YouTube, so it's not for a client or anything like that, so I can do that. And, and like I said, I, I, I don't like the way it turned out. But I'm gonna post it anyway because I did spend two and a half hours on it. I don't want it to go to waste. And I did record it. I went through the troubles of doing all this stuff, so I figured what's another hour and a half or so of editing um, just to put it up on, on YouTube and provide some content on my page, which I've kind of neglected for for uh, a couple of years now. Um, but I do want to get back into it, start doing more of these speed paints and, and just talk about what I know, um, maybe about the industry as well, if you want to hear about that. But just let me know what you guys want to hear. Um, I'm, I'm a practicing professional. I've been doing this for over 20 years now. Not this type of concept art, but motion graphics and, and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. It's just my son playing with his toys. I use a G pen on Clip Studio. I've since migrated from uh, Photoshop to complete Clip Studio recently because I just find that the, the drawing tools are much, much better. Um, convoluted menu system. Photoshop is still amazing. Um, for editing and stuff like that and just for simplicity. Uh, Clip Studio, I think they should slim it down quite a bit. Maybe just have like um, a version where it's just drawing and a version where there's anime. Like, don't merge everything together. It's just a big mess right now. Um, but yeah, I never use it for, for anything else other than line work and, and some painting as well. But Photoshop I still use for, for editing colors and stuff. So as you can see the drawing looks uh, a lot different now than it did from the beginning. Um, I, I don't like the way it kind of turned out. And here I'm putting in the shadows and it's just one tone. I don't mess around with different tones. I don't use the picker or anything like that. It's just one tone set to an overlay and boom, it's done. This is the final product. Yeah. Hope you enjoy. So I think that's it. Um, very basic lighting for this one. Like I said, I wanted to go for a heavy light coming from the back and most of it is going to be covered in shadow. But then I would just take this thing and I would um, bring it to Photoshop and just start really editing the colors and stuff like that. Maybe put a background to it, put, put some graphic design around it and stuff like that and just call it a day. I don't want to spend too much time on this one. I've already spent way too much time. Uh, after this, I have to kind of get back to work again. Um, but yeah, this is just my process. This is kind of how I go about doing artwork. So um, yeah, if you like um, Cyberpunk, I mean, if you like Cyberpunk the game, check out the anime. If you like the anime, give the, give the game a try. And I think that the uh, game sales have spiked to like 20 million or something like because of the anime. Uh, and rightfully so. I think the anime and the, and the video game, they're, they work well together. So um, I think um, CD Projekt has a hit on their hands. They made a great move. And um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Peace. Take care. Bye-bye.